Hello everyone and welcome back to Sand Clan, where we have a murder mystery on our hands. So Ink knows, actually knows who the murderer is now. And I basically admitted who it was. Well, I didn't, to be fair. Whispermoon basically did. Uh, last episode, so if you guys haven't seen that, then be sure to check it out. And Ink Nose now feels horribly sad because Contrical told him who the murderer was in panic. She had been panicking for the last couple moons and unfortunately right after that she turns up dead. So he definitely knows who it is and he has to do something about it because this can't go on. But with that being said, let us patrol. Uh, Ink Nose, Bristletail and tall reed. They can go on a border patrol along with hornet strike it seems. <laughs> okay so there are dark clouds on the horizon. Tall reed wonders if the patrol should continue or not. He has three very very young cats. I don't think we're gonna continue. Also he's wise. We're just gonna not proceed that one. <laughs> Clay mask and sandstar. You two can go hunting in that case and they bring back a huge amount of prey. Frostbloom uh, you can go hunting as well, I would say. Okay, so Frostbloom hones in on the scent. And as soon as they spot the grey fox with a dead fish hanging from its jaws, they recklessly throw themselves to the attack. But the fox is a little too desperate to keep itself from harm, and Frostbloom has to retreat bleeding. Oh, well that's not great. Berrypool thankfully found some herbs. And now Berrypool is without an apprentice again. Ooh, man, that is hard. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, Tall Reed slipped on some rocks and dislocated his leg. That is unfortunate. Kelp Stripe's leg is much better, thankfully, again. And Frostboom is also good. Berrypool prepares a soothing mix of herbs for River, who has been complaining of the head pain after her injury. How is she doing? She, has, she still has head damage and has a headache now as well. Adventurous Dreamwalker, eh? Oh, that is not good. Hornet Strike. Oh, we're a new leaf! Oh, thank goodness. That's at least good. Uh, Clay Mask, Hornet Strike, Frost Bloom, and Thanstar are gonna go on a board patrol. They come across a large dog. Clay Mask tries to protect their clanmates, but it gets in the way of the attack. Without everyone committing to driving the dog off, the patrol has to fall back. But they do so in good order. That's always something. And the last three warriors here are gonna go hunting. And they gathered a huge amount of prey. Good, 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 good. Berry pool. You gathered some wild garlic. That's nice. And let us proceed. Hopefully no more murders now. Uh... Oh my gosh! River's head finally heals! It feels better! Yes! She survived! River, you survived! <laughs> she survived and she's wondering if being a kitty pet would really be so bad. River, you survived! R Honestly, River spirit, yeah. River spirit? That's cool, because she's a dream walker and she had the spirit to survive. So yeah, there we go, river spirit. That's bro- that's wonderful! <laughs> And I do actually know, Inknos has a little, little crush on her, I believe. Um, where is she? Okay, no, he just has respect for her, but uh, wait, did he? Uh, Frostbloom, nothing there either. But he does actually have um, good synergy with her. Um... Let's see, what about you? Do you like anyone? No, no, not really. You don't even know who Inknos is, actually. And Frostbloom, how about you? You really like Claymask. Well, he was your mentor. 
that makes sense. Uh, that's about it, honestly. She doesn't really like Ink Nose that much either. Okay, let's have these three Frost Bloom, River Spirit, and Ink Nose go hunting. Well, training together, I guess. They have a lot of food already. Uh, it doesn't go well. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Fairy Pool. Ooh. While searching for some specific herbs, Berry no Null. <laughs> Berry pool is startled by weird sounds and whispers on the wind. Okay. And the sounds die away and then start up again in a strange, unpredictable intervals. Investigating, Berry pool suddenly finds themselves nose to nose with a panting, bleeding queen, one desperately trying to keep their newborn litters quiet. Litter quiet. Berry pool takes brings the ba uh, queen back to camp where they can where the clan can assist. Wonderful! Okay! <laughs> what name is this? Mitrochondia dance! Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, no. How about Tawny? <laughs> Tawny dance. Tawny dances. It's, it's, it's cool. Uh, all those Tawnies don't really dance. Uh, Tawny Flower, I guess. Tawny Flower. <laughs> Mitochondria dance. Oh gosh. Uh, Tawny Flower. Okay, so she's nervous, an excellent teacher, and has helpful insight. And she has three little kittens down here. Okay, so we have little female moth kit here. Which honestly sounds very cute. And as a honor to her Mitochondria <laughs> I will name her Moth Dance eventually, so she's charming as well, so that uh, fits. Oh my gosh, Pumpkin Kit is the perfect name for this one. Oh my gosh. That- that is a pumpkin. That is simply a pumpkin, but we have actually had pumpkin before. Ooh, perch actually. No. No, I- 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 no. <laughs> I changed my mind. Um... Current is actually a really cute as well. Parsley kid? Parsley kid is pretty cute. Uh, well, I mean, we can do sun kid. And sun kid is pretty cute. Oh, and a little attention seeker. Another female, by the way. So sand kid is definitely the thing that comes to mind here. But of course we already have egg kit is so cute. What? That is so cute. Sage kit, sage kit is really cute as well. Hmm. Oh, peach kit, peach kit is adorable, and she's a little attention seeker, so that's great. <laughs> okay, but we have three little females here. Wonderful. Let us definitely hunt enough for those. Although I think we need to do a border patrol first. We have confident, playful, and troublesome. I guess we proceed on this one. Uh, okay, so it never rains. We're fine. Wonderful. Bristletail unfortunately got a sprain while out hunting with his brother though. Okay, let us time skip another moon and see how things go. Uh, okay, so Night Juniper strides into camp, much to everyone's surprise, their home. Wonderful! And Night Juniper was also dragged out into the ocean by the tide and inhaled a lot of water before managing to get out. They've been hacking and sputtering ever since. So I'm assuming that's what happened and then she returned home, just coughing like crazy. Okay, awesome. Uh, she's at least home. <laughs> that's always something. <laughs> Tall Reed has recovered from their dislocated joint, and his bruises have healed. And both Peach Kit and Clay Mask have actually gotten a running nose. Spire Clowns, Medicine Cat asks for some golden rod, and we do actually share it with them, so that's cool. Oh, look at them! They're so cute! Moth Kit has blue eyes, my gosh! Sun Kit is adorable. 
and Peach Kit. I'm wondering actually if I should change the name Sun Kit. I don't know, for some reason Sun just isn't working for me here. Hatch Kit is actually very cute. Ember Kit. Oh, I'm... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I am thinking, because like I want something with sun, but more like, you know, burnt to a crisp kind of, <laughs> kind of thing. Very, very warm, but not quite fire. Hmm. Robin is also kind of cute. Scarlet Kit is also... You know what? Scarlet Kit. Well, let's do that one. We haven't had a Scarlet yet, I don't think. Uh, River Spirit, do you like anyone yet? Nope. No romantic. No romantic likes. Oh well. River Spirit, I think... Well, actually, um... Ink Nose, you're gonna go with... Frost Bloom on a training patrol right now. And they actually do really well, so that's wonderful. Uh, and Tall Reed, Clay Mask, Sandstar, as well as River Spirit are gonna go on a border patrol. They find kittens again from Spire Clan running around the border and again give them back, so that's adorable. Oh, Kelp Stripe and Horde that Strike, Daring and Confident. Well, I can't not proceed on this one, but I really hope none of them die. Nope, they're good. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Well, so far everything seemed very good, so I'm a little bit scared of time skipping in this moon, because usually when I say that, everything goes bad. <laughs> uh, Bristledale can walk without pain. That's wonderful. And Peach Kit is now healthy again. Uh, and Spire Clan is not getting any medicine from us again. Right now. Uh, so far nothing happened. So far we're good. So Sandstar, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, Tawny Flower is worried others are judging them. That is sad. I wonder... What are your relationships, actually? Not a lot. Clay Mask, do you want, like, a new mate? Yeah, because Tiny Flower and Clay Mask are actually really... ...compatible with each other. And they're almost the same age. I, I feel like the older you get, the more, like... ...age doesn't really matter. Uh, and these two are both very old and both, like, at the end of their lives. Well, not Tiny Flower, but... Clay mask is, you know, getting there. So I think, I think, um, she's nervous. I think he could kind of charm her into uh, these two becoming mates. I will see as well if there are any other mates possible here. <clears throat> and the only reason I'm checking this biological kids thing is because I want kids. <laughs> That's about it. So, Kelp Stripe and River Spirit, they are good for each other. Maybe these two should actually... They're both adventurous and confident, honestly. Let's make these two mates. Night Juniper, you don't really have any... I mean, there is Tall Reed. Wise, she's playful. Let's make it official. Let's just make a bunch of mates here. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think that's that's about it. Unless, no, no, those two don't really like each other. Okay, yeah, there we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Tall Reed, River Spirit, you can go with Clay Mask and Sandstar on a Border Patrol. Uh, and a gang of rogues come out. Let's proceed. Tall Reed got a claw wound. Okay, well. Hopefully he survives that. Ink Nose, Bristle Tail, and Hornet Strike. You three can go hunting. Frostbloom and uh, Ink Nose can go hunting. 
berry pool, you can go out and find some herbs. Okay, hopefully again, no one gets murdered. That would, that would not be great. Oh, whoa, what? That went so fast. What in the world? Okay, um... River Spirit announced that they are expecting kits. When one waddles more than pads around camp, one has to accept that one should move into the nursery. And then they broke up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's... I mean, we're expecting kits. That's, that's wonderful. But uh, apparently Kelp Stripe and River Spirit had a little fling, nothing more. Which is also fine. So... That's happening. Maybe, you know what? Maybe comes from... No. Uh, what the heck is pretending to be a big evil warrior for Scarlet Kid? I actually think when I was editing the clans that he had the same wish or like um, event for Conch Kid, which was really cute. Okay, let us see. Frost Bloom, Clay Mask, Tawny Flower. Right, those are our mates now. Sandstar, you three will, or four will go on a border patrol. Spire clan is considered allies and it went well. We got more fresh kill and Kelp Stripe is gonna go and sulk, I think. <laughs> he got a mate, they got expected, uh, they, they were expecting kittens like immediately and she's just like, well, thank you, goodbye. <laughs> Maybe it was an agreement. Maybe it was... You know, they agreed to, to have kids. River Spirit, you know what? I'm gonna say that. River Spirit wants kids. Uh, kelp Mask was, or Kelp Stripe was like, yeah, I'll, I'll help. I'll uh, donate for you. And uh, yeah, there we go. So River Spirit got some donated kittens. Very, very nice. And let's proceed. Ooh, River, yeah, River Spirit ho is hoping for a big litter. I think she really, really... Uh... <laughs> I think she really just wanted kits, and and um, Kelp Stripe was nice enough to to give some to her, or to help her with it. So Night Juniper's lungs are feeling normal, yay! And the Spire Clan Medicine Cat comes asking for any elder leaves, and we do actually give some. So Night Juniper. You want to get to know Tall Reed better. You know what? That is completely fair. I just kind of pushed you into that relationship. I apologize. He's he's sick. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I I might have gotten a little bit carried away with all the mates. But that's okay. That's okay. That can happen. Uh Night Juniper, you you're not proceeding on this one. Yeah. Of course you decide against breaking the warrior code. Clay mask. I mean, maybe she was like accidentally almost did it cuz she's been living alone for a while. Ooh, Frostbloom finds an abandoned kitten whose parents are nowhere to be around. They rush the kitten back to camp, uh, and the kitten is nursed back to health by the camp clan. Mm hmm. Interesting. So, Snip Kit, huh? Uh, Grass Kit is also really cute, actually. Root kit? I'm gonna name him Root kit. That is so cute. Noisy and quick with it. Uh, so we have a little Root kit. He doesn't really have any parents. We do have two parents who are possible for him, so River Spirit and Tawny Flower. But honestly, I think I'll just keep him as no parents. He's just kind of adopted by the entire clan. River spirit and yeah, I don't know. I, I think I, I think that's what I'll keep him as. Uh, so he's not related to the other cats. Because <laughs> that would be a little bit annoying. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes the story calls for it. Ink nose, bristletail. Well, considering Frost Bloom was the one who found him as well, I feel like eh, she probably wouldn't really want to, to keep that kitten as her own because she's so young. So Bristle Tail and uh, Ink Nose are gonna go and catch a turtle. That's lovely. Awesome for the clan. Okay, there we go. So we will do one last little moon uh, swap here, but only because it's so exciting. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. Oh gosh. Oh oh my. Oh no. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Kelpstripe was trying. Uh, Kelpstripe was trying to flop up their nest when they discovered that they were uh, the victim of a prank. Fuck stung. They are now sharp. There's now a sharp thorn embedded in their paw. Uh, Talreen has recovered from his claw wound. Lovely. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Uh, River Spirit gazes lovingly at their new litter of five kittens. Kelpstripe looks nervous and awkward in the nursery, understandable. Uh, but River Spirit calls them forward to meet their litter. So these are super cute. I, I really like River Spirit and Kelpstripe. And they don't have romantic love towards each other. It is purely platonic here, but it is really, really cute. I love it. Uh, Peach Kid is free of fleas at last, and Peach Kid doesn't understand why how everyone else seems to see so far, and is sad to find out that their eyesight is failing. No, Peach Kid, your eyesight is oh what no no it's not Peach Kid, your eyesight is failing. That's so sad. Oh, well, you don't need eyesight to be a warrior. Well, not like distance eyesight, at least. Uh, if you can see close by, then that's fine. And you can find prey with your nose and everything. So I think I think she's still going to be a warrior if that's what she wants. Is that what you... Attention and a careful listener. Self-conscious and a careful listener and charming and... Hmm... Well, some of them might choose to be a medicine cat, to be fair. We do need more help with all the new cats. As we saw, Berry Pool can't really take care of them all. But there we go. So a lot of things actually happen here. And we have a couple new mates. Um, and hopefully... And we, and we have lots of new kittens. And I know you guys really, really want to see those new kittens. But uh, I will leave that until next episode. Because I am evil. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you guys want to see the new kittens, by the way, and if you guys are excited to um, see how they look and everything, then please do consider subscribing. I also really want to see how they grow up, of course. And we still have a murderer in the clan, and some of you guys might know who it is, some of you guys might not have guessed it quite yet, and that's okay. So, we will definitely... You know, uh, get to the bottom of this. I almost clicked cat list out of uh, pure habit here, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so, with all that being said, I do hope you guys have a absolutely wonderful day. And are super nice to everyone you meet. Uh, as long as they're nice, you know, back. <laughs> and with that being said, you guys, have a wonderful, awesome day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye! Mm,